Hello, 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 and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in February. Um, I don't know how your January was going, but if you're if it was anything close to what my January was like, we're just all very, very, very glad that it's over. And we're gonna usher in some love with that. And here we have some amazing uh, Valentine's washi that we're going to be using along with some really cute Valentine's stickers that I'm going to be featuring all month long. Um, and to get us started, we're here in my gratitude planner. Um, and I just want to make it really pretty and beautiful and all that mushy stuff for February. So to get started, I'm going to get rid of February because we know what it is, because I want to do the whole top. So I'm just going to wipe this out. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I'm just taking it slow, because I tried going fast already, and that didn't work. And what I'm doing is just giving um, myself a blank canvas. Let me just bring it a little closer. So this way when I put the washi on top, I don't have to worry about anything shining through. Now, because we have such a wide area, I decided to go with two different washi to use as opposed to using like one really big one. Because I do have, you know, a really big one that I could have put across the whole top, which now I'm like kind of why don't I? But... I like the variety that this brings. So, we're going to use these two. And we're going to go across the top. And I'm just going to start in the corner. Actually, I'm going to go a little over the corner. Because I'm not going to stress myself out with lining up corners, to be honest. And then just gently take it across. Making sure to line it up just right. There we go. And then I'm going to use my card. You can use an old gift card. You can use an old credit card. Whatever the case may be, it works perfect. And then I'm going to go across the other side. Now, yes, I did just fuss about matching up corners, but it's a little easier. And then I'm going to do the same, use it, and tear. Super easy. I love it. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing with this. Now, you see this washi does go a specific way. And it matches up perfectly. If by any chance it was the other way around, I would just flip the book all together just to make it easier on myself. And I'm putting it right under. Wait, do we have enough space? Yes. I'm putting it right underneath. And then I'm gently going across, not to cause too much tension. Because then what happens is your paper will start to curl up when you make it too tight. And we're going across the other side just the same way. Ha <laughs> ha. And what I'm going to do to keep it cute is I'm going to add this right to the bottom. Just because there's some space. There we go. And then it's time to add some stickers. I 
Now, yes, this is my gratitude planner. So for the month, what I like to do is write on the monthly spread. I like to write one thing that happened each day. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. That stands out to me um, that I'm grateful for. Uh, whether it was a way I blessed someone else, a way someone blessed me, a way that I saw someone else being blessed, whatever the case may be, I like to write that here. So I like to give myself enough space in the actual boxes um, to have space to actually write. And what I also like to do um, is do the Bible in the year. So at the bottom of each day, I'll have like a Bible verse uh, that I've read or plan to read depending on where we are in the month. So I like to give myself some space to do that as well. But I do want to add a little color. So what I did is I went through my sticker books and I found just some stickers. As you can see, I marked them with uh, paper clips. Some stickers that I want to use. And we're going to get to it right about now. So first. So, and I'm using all of my faith sticker books. So we have faith mini, faith regular, and then faith warrior. And granted, there's a heart, you know, in it every now and then. Actually, what I want to do is take out these numbers from the prior month. So, yes, in these um, sticker books, there's a heart in it every now and then. But nothing, you know, really targeting Valentine's Day, which is fine to me because they do stick with the colors of you know like red pink all that wonderful stuff and then also there we go this is my gratitude planner so i'm not trying to really get that lovey-dovey with things going on in here. Because that's not really what this is about, to be honest. So I have great is thy faithfulness. And shine bright. Just as some wonderful reminders. And then I love that I just have this space up here to actually get some things that stick out, hit home, all that wonderful stuff. And now I'm just looking for a little heart that I found. Here we go. Only because. And I have these little hearts. I just wanted to put around it. Ah. So just some nice little going on. That says be a truth seeker. All right, so what we'll do with the rest is just fill in everything for the month. So this is creating me a pure heart and I'm actually going to put this on Valentine's Day. I thought that was awesome for that day. All right, so let's go on to everything else that we have. So 
So yes, um, where are we gonna put it here? Yes, it does take up a lot of space, but sometimes you gotta give. Every now and then, you gotta give a little. I should put this over here. And I'm not going to get too crazy with the stickers, to be honest. Because like I said, actually, let's do it. I want there to still be space to write. There we go. And then what a wonderful way to end it. End the month with rejoice. <laughs> you know, some things just come together. So, as our note, I think this really works. It says, be kind, work hard, stay humble, smile often, be loyal, be honest, give grace, love big. And I'm just going to bring down the note a little more. So as not to overcrowd it. There we go. And I just want to put something really small right here. Sorry, that wasn't it. This is be loved, and what I'm putting down now is walk by faith. That's right, we walk by faith and not by sight. This is gather, give, grow, which I think is great to put here. I just need something to go here, and I think we are good. Here we go. A grateful heart. So, this spread, though very simple, uh, it does give me everything that I need this month. Um, inspiration, reminders, as well as space and opportunity to create and to remind myself of God's goodness. And that's exactly what I need to go on um, for my monthly spread while I'm writing down the small things that happen throughout the day to remind me of who God is, not only in my life, but others' lives as well, and how he really shines through on a day-to-day -day basis in 
ways that most of the time we take for granted um, because we're just used to it happening, like waking up, breathing, remembering to do simple things like, you know, brushing our teeth and putting one leg in at a time uh, on our pants. That's God helping us and God just being there for us. I forgot to cut these. But, I mean, granted, it's not things like that that I write down. It's actual ways that God showed up in people's lives and made an impact that caught my eye, caught my attention, and it reminded me that he's always there, always around us, always with us. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, need prayer, anything of that nature, you just need somebody to talk to, um, please, please, please talk to me. You can reach me uh, by email. You can hit me in the comments. You can send me uh, messages. However it is that you feel comfortable chatting, let's chat. But until next time, later days.